Hey guys, welcome to another Serve Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGym007 and today we're looking at the Economy Shop GUI plugin. So this is a really well made, really fantastic plugin which allows your users to buy and sell items via a really easy GUI and then admins can use commands to edit those items whether it's the price or adding enchantments or laws you can really customize it and it's so easy to use so the first thing we're going to do is the forward slash shop command and this will bring up a really nice GUI which will show various different categories the bottom left will show you your head and username and the amount of money you have and then if you wanted to buy something you would find the category it's in and then if you wanted to buy TNT, you could left click and then this window will allow you to buy maybe 17 of them and then you can hit minus one to get 16. Or you can click this button here and buy stacks instead, which is obviously gonna cost a lot more. So we are going to buy 32 TNT for $3,000. And if we hit buy, we will have 32 in our inventory and there's a nice message in chat that's colored. Uh, we'll show you what you bought and how much you spent. Now, if that was a mistake and you want to sell it again, you can go forward slash shop, go back to blocks and then TNT. And this time we're gonna right click. Obviously we can't sell it for quite as much. So right click TNT and we want to sell 32 and we will get 800 bucks back for selling it back to the shop. So to make it easier, if you want to sell all of your inventory or whatever is in your hand, you can do the forward slash sell all command followed by either hand or inventory. Uh, so we're going to type inventory and that's gonna sell everything that can be sold. As you can see, this chest is still here as that has not been added to the shop yet. So moving on to how to add and edit items to the shop. Let's go ahead and go over to this item here. So Crying Obsidian is not currently in the shop. So if we wanted to add it, we would do forward slash edit shop and then we want to add hand item. So this is the way you would add an item that you're holding, although you can add it via the name as well. Then we want to choose which category we want to put it in. So we're going to put it in blocks. And then now we can set the buy price. So I'm going to set it as $500 and then the sell price, if you don't want it to be sold, you put minus one, but I'm going to do $200. And then that has been added to the shop and it's now block 217. So if we do S reload, that will reload the shop. And then if we go back into the shop, into the blocks folder, and then go all the way to the end, you can see Crying Obsidian for 500 and 200 and it is index 217. Now, if we wanted to add an item that wasn't in the our inventory, we could do simply add item, maybe blocks again, and then you can see there's a long, long list of all the different items. Obviously, you should know the uh, name of it, um, and you could simply click one of these and add it to the list. So we'll do twisting vines, and then you can buy it for 100, but you cannot sell it. Then we want to do S reload again, go back into the shop, into blocks and then go all the way to the end twisted vines cannot be sold and it's a hundred bucks now a really cool feature is customizing the items you add to the shop so if we go into shop and then miscellaneous and go all the way to the end i've added a bow here and this has an enchantment now we could edit this and change it a little bit and if we have a look it's index 61. so if we do four slash edit shop and then edit item and go into the miscellaneous folder and then it's 61. Then we can add, remove or set <clears throat> certain characteristics from it. So if we go to add, uh, we can add a, another enchantment and we could do, let's see, infinity uh, as it is a bow, infinity one. Hit enter and that has been added. And let's go ahead and see what else we can add. If we have a look in here, you can see we could change the name and we could call it diamond, even though it's not a diamond, diamond bow. And then we're gonna add a law as well. And it actually gives a few of these. So I'm just gonna click these to give you an example of how you can customize it. And we'll have a look, see what else there is. You could change any of these. Obviously, if it's a potion or a spawner, you could change all of that good stuff as well. Um, but for the bow, there's not much else we'd want to change. So now if we do four slash S reload and then go back into the shop, we can see how our bow has changed. And there we go. So it's called Diamond Bow. It has a random lore redstone dust and it now has infinity on as well. And we could buy one of them for $100. 
and that is how you would customize it. Now the other cool thing I want to show is just the spawners. You can buy a spawn of any mob that you want. Um, so frogs, if you wanted to buy one of those. You could do that, pop it down. Over here I bought a mushroom cow spawner and that is exactly what I got. So as you can see, this is a really fantastic plugin, super easy to edit and add items and you can remove them if you want from the shop. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. If you need any help, you can contact them on Discord or have a look at the wiki for all the other stuff uh, you can do with it. And as you can see, there's various permissions you could give to your players and admins to allow them to do certain things. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.